questions, we are transforming our courses from the traditional to skills nowadays. Everybody is emphasizing on that, even government and universities are also going towards that. So that the students can become. Any, any, yeah. So, large materials are available in the web and e content. Yeah, as you were saying. Yeah. So we want they want to learn more like that. <coughs> so we say they have followed only one section. Mm -hmm. Now so many reference are widely available, so they are referring and they are gaining more knowledge. So we also have to are all these happening for the good or uh, anything positive or negative? Both will be Both are positive. Uh, tell me, uh, but something negative? See, because the learning styles have changed, uh -huh. they are not attentive in the class. Uh -huh. Their attitude has changed. Mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes they feel even without going to class, they can acquire knowledge. Not sometimes, many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. little yeah. polite. Yeah, yeah. 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 One minute. We will have time. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They, are, they are losing writing skills these days. Huh? Writing skills, they, they are not good at writing skills. Writing skills. Oh, writing skills. Writing skills. Yes. Has everybody spoken? No? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw his hands. Yeah. Whole world is changing. Uh -huh. Right? So, nature also changes. And things are always positive. Always. That's a very, very optimistic outlook. One. We are a part of the society. Mm -hmm. So, whether we are teaching, or we are teaching, or teachers, or students, lot of changes are there. Okay. So. Yeah. So, the courses are being designed as well. You, you, you mean to connect between the universities to the industry, yes. that connect is happening. Is it really happening? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, one minute. I mean, those who have not spoken, yes. In the current economic times, uh, employability has become a very major issue with the students. So they want to basically pursue those who will be where employability is higher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, again. So even we have a policy that nine pointers they no need to attend the class. Without uh -huh. attending, even with zero person attendance, they can come and write the examination. So uh -huh. Yeah, we have a policy. Nine pointers, more than ninety percent. Uh -huh. If they have it, they can do some project. But people are usually. What will the pro professors do? No, we no. Are, we are, no. People who study very well, uh -huh. who have the CGPA more than nine, uh -huh. that students need not have to come to the class. They are getting material from other people are good. Digitalization has impacted a lot on the students' curricula as well as uh, in, in the mind. But the mindset as well as the digitalization, they are not in alignment or they are not synchronized. Whose mindset? The students? Students. And even teachers. Teachers also. Yeah. There okay. is a gap between okay. the changes. No. Just one final yeah. one. So that, uh, like you know, earlier uh, students were uh, very regular to the class and attendee and all. These days they are not uh, regular to the class and not attending. This is only a change. How do we confirm that it is actually a negative side? Right? Nobody but confirm. We cannot confirm. It is only a change from that to this. And tomorrow after 100 years, 50 years, there could be a different, altogether a different scenario. And at that time we could say that maybe this was something good. Right. I mean, the problem is now what students are doing. So, how do we distinguish between good and bad or positive and negative? It's very relative. It's very relative. Shall I, uh, now, all of you have spoken a little bit. Anybody wants to speak? No? No? Why are you? The lone uh, lady? So, we are no ladies. Oh, sorry. I didn't hear. Uh -huh. I didn't hear this. Side. Yes. Based uh -huh. so, uh, you know, uh, we have introduced choice based choice based career system. Uh -huh. We offer different options to the students according to his or her So that is a very positive change which I can see in the system. Yes. Ma'am, you want to say something or not? Yes. The, uh, we see that courses are changing, the choice of the students are changing. So we should look for a positive side for it. That is what they do in the future. Uh, we, we can think. They can do better. Okay, sir. Now, uh, now that I have come, ah, yeah. Uh, sir, in the last twenty years, if we say two decades, hmm. the education system 
of course, has done the transformation. Mm. There are some positive and negative aspects for mm. because uh, the changes have, if, if the changes have rather than any negative effect, then there is no question of learning from the history. So yeah. Many of the changes have happened where uh, there are both reports. So what the current education system, how the transformation is going on, what I see now the university students, because the school system has changed earlier, yeah. and now these students are coming to the university. So we can feel the changes. What was 20 years before and what are now? So what I think is that, as one of the um, colleagues has said, that the learning skill has gone down. That another thing, what I am observing is the mathematical and skill of our students. Mathematical, specifically. Skill, skill, skill. Yeah, uh -huh. Mathematical skills are also going down because the old days, maybe the learning style, maybe the old one, but it was more rigorous. Now it is not too much rigorous because we are using the modern tools. Mathematics cannot be taught in the smart classroom. It has to be taught in the conventional chalk writing, board. chalk and board type. So, so you think so? I think so. You are a math person? I am from the engineering. Okay. Okay. So okay. that is what I think. Okay friends, now can I speak for some time? Now that I have come, I can also speak a little bit. Okay, yeah. This is this side. Yes, sir, you will have to use this uh, whiteboard. I don't want this. Can somebody remove this? Is that possible? Or, no. uh, if I write here, can you see? Yes, can you a little uh, change or this thing? Is that fine, sir? So this topic for today is basically counseling. Basically, counseling. Are you getting it? But what I am driving at, what I am beginning, is how, why is this relevant for you? How it is relevant for you? And how the role of the teachers changing? <coughs> teachers, when I now say I will include all of you, the, you are uh, maybe UG class uh, lecturers or assistant professors, everybody I consider as a teacher. I am myself a teacher, whatever our designations are. So when I see the role of the teacher, how it is changing, we will explain that, then we will come to the core counseling. Is that fine? Yes. Because relevance, what I am doing in this class should be relevant for you. Otherwise, it's another professor who has come and uh, oh, whatever he wanted to say and went off. So let us connect it, shall we? So as you might have heard, many of you have said, most of the things, but there was trans. I am basically uh, known as an educational psychologist. You understand that? A psychologist. I, later on, when you have any doubts, uh, we, hello. Hello. Can you put that mic a little bit down there? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought somebody else will dress me. Hello. A little bit down there. Hello. Is it okay? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, even otherwise I am audible, even if it is better with this. So there was time, as all of you know, the teacher was a lecturer. You agree with me? Teacher was a lecturer. And we used to call them lecturers, especially in the uh, college or university level. Uh, what, what does it mean? He will come, uh, he will fill his gun, Come and fire. <laughs> some of them may die, some of them will survive, some of them will go up, everything. But he was least worried about what was happening to these children. This was happening at one time. And I am not saying it has stopped altogether. But that was absolutely, there was a lesson plan. He knows what is best for the children. I mean, not that children will decide what is good for them. Come and dust it. Okay. Some one, one advantage of this thing, can you think of one advantage? A lot of discipline in the classroom used to be there. Because if it is especially very strict and this, children will sit, whether they are sitting and looking at him, or that's a different issue. So it was a lecture. And the content, Content was driven by teacher alone. That was the 
and former uh, days. Even whenever I am seeing history, but it is not, even now it is happening many places, though we would want that not to happen. So, lecture in. Then, as somebody said, what was the term you used? The teacher became a? Assistant professor. No, no, it's okay. That, that's a designation. I am saying the role of the teacher became oh. that of a? <laughs> yeah. So, it became facilitator. What changed? What changed was the content now is not driven by the teacher alone. Would you, would you agree? The content will be driven by students also. So one change is with reference to content. I will not want to waste time writing it. Content driven by students too. This is what happened. Because, but do you mean to say, is lesson plan still relevant? Yes. yes. Or can the teacher just come into the class, uh, let the children drive me, they will drive you mad. That is what I mean. Lesson plans will still be there, but within the lesson plan, a lot of freedom is there with reference to what the children know, what they want to know, but cannot go beyond what we call that made plan. However, psychology, uh, can I ask you another question? Anybody from psychology background other than ma'am? No? Okay. Uh, if I ask you a question, traditionally or from time immemorial, who were the professionals actually driving the field of education? What is a good method, what is not a good method, all those things, who are deciding? Psychologists. I hope you know that. It was psychology. Whether you begin from Pavlo to Skinner to Piaget to uh, Hull, every psychologist had a lot to say about what we call the field of education, how the transaction will happen, what methods will work. So let us say psychologists thought this is not sufficient. Now the facilitator must become next level. Make a guess. Counselor. Oh, wait, wait. You are jumping the gun. <laughs> you are, you, yeah, you are well, very near, but before that one or two steps were there. Uh, okay. We said now the teacher should be a coach. Ah, teacher should be a coach. Now, what does the coach do? Huh? What is most important aspect of a coach? Just think of a football coach. Training. Training. And, and one more thing. One more thing. Motivating. Motivating. That even others can do. Anything else? Giving tips. Tips also. Okay. okay. One, one, one. Can I say an example? A football coach, will he keep everybody the goalkeeper? <laughs> so, so what is it? <laughs> Identifying. So what is the role of a coach basically? Knowing the person's individual differences. Strengths and limitations. So now what happened? This coach will not expect the whole class to perform at the same level. Uh, actually, if you would like to hear, as they say in socialism, uh, just have you written whatever, yeah. It, it's nothing. You can remember it also. If you feel that something important, no doubt. From the child, according to his ability, but to the child, according to his needs. That is what the coach's responsibility is. Coach will understand what is the difference between this child and what are the strong areas, what are his weak areas and we will expect from the child according to his ability but to the child according to his needs. Okay? Now, but psychologists are very ambitious people and greedy too. Now, we are saying 
the teacher should further become now. This is now UGC also talking about. <laughs> so this was a long journey. Mentor. Now, between a coach and a mentor, what could be the difference? I will ask a lot of questions. You are okay with it? Yes. Sir. Uh -huh, please, otherwise I will give a boring lecture. Uh, it's a better idea to uh, have a conversation. You, you do agree? Uh -huh. And that is the way. So, mentor, uh, what will be the difference between... Uh, to motivate. Uh, doesn't the coach motivate? No, mentor. No. What about the coach? Coach train, trainer. Uh, you are very clever. <laughs> and yes, you see, this is the professor, you know. I mean, yeah, very good. You, you, you gave a clever answer, yes. A anybody else? What could be the... Just from the word mentor and coach, what is coming to your yeah. mind? Yes. Takes remedial measures also. Remedial measures. Yeah. Individual, guidance. Individual guidance. Fulfilling the needs of an individual. Fulfilling the needs. Mentor. Guardian. Guardian. Mentor, I think you should convince. As a coach, he will give you instructions. You have to do uh -huh. it. Uh -huh. As a mentor, uh -huh. you have to persuade him to do it. Yeah. You are, you are, all, all of you are very near to what I was wanting to hear. Let's say. A football coach will coach for a specific thing. You agree? A mathematics coach will coach for a specific thing. So coaching will be specific to a discipline or a particular thing. You agree? Yes, but mentor's responsibility is to look at the overall person. He comes and shares a mentor. He can even share my girlfriend has ran away. <laughs> now I am in depression. I am not able to study. Ah. Okay. They, they. So, the mentor will not look down upon him. Okay, this is why you are not studying well. Achha. This is the time you will have all these things instead of concentrate. But a mentor will not talk like that. A mentor will be non judgmental. That's very, very important. Yeah. A mentor will not judge the child. I mean, he will rather listen without judging, without judging. So, a mentor's responsibility. So, what is now happening? Uh, wait, yes, I am coming to that, sir. <laughs> I mean, I am coming to that. So, from a lecturing person to a facilitator to a coach to a mentor, in this journey, what is most important for a present day professor or teacher will be counseling skills. That is why this lesson. That is why we have included a topic on counseling. Otherwise, uh, there was no need for such a topic because a teacher cannot. Sorry to say like this. Don't get uh, angry with me. To be very, very frank, children have started talking about we don't require a college. We want simply, I mean, uh, a syllabus or whatever you want to give us. <laughs> and we will do what we want. See, the reason is we teach when we have facility or what you call time. They want to learn, that is the new mantra of learning. Where they want, when they want. That is the mantra now. They want to learn, yeah, they are not, not wanting to learn. They are actually wanting to learn. But the issue is, when they want. And also, where they want. They may want to learn at home, in the hostel, while nowadays the system is many of them, I don't know whether you have, uh, I don't know which part of the country you are all coming from. Now college students or even school students have started studying in cafe coffee day. <laughs> and you see, I mean, in what you call restaurants, uh, what you call parks, they want to be because everything is available, I mean, at the click of a bow. The best lecture on thermodynamics. <laughs> And he 
he is able to. And that also, if the professor zooms and answers questions, so a time has come. Now the duty of the teachers or the professors or whoever you call will not be only giving knowledge or information at all. It will be what you call, there are two things we will have to know. Shall we come to now? We will have to look after the child as a human being. I mean, as a human being, our roles will become slowly translated into if we have to be relevant. Otherwise, sorry to say, sir, all of us will become redundant. Redundant in the sense. Okay. If you are there, good. If you are not there, very good. <laughs> that, that, that is as simple as that. As simple as that. So, that is why the field of counseling and guidance and children want sometimes somebody just to listen to them, just to empathize with them, just to look into their uh, various other aspects. Uh -huh, studies I will do. You solved my this problem. I mean, after now, I will be BSc in uh, this subject. What should be my post-graduation? Tell me about that. I mean, huh? I if I do this, Will it be useful for getting me a job? What is that? They, they will ask all other kinds. They, our relevance also increases. So this is the relevant. Yes. So are you saying we should all change from knowledge providers to clinical psychologists? Not really. Uh, that is, that is uh, again, very, 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 so please sir, ask all questions. Absolutely, you know, unless of course there is a discussion and debate, you, you will never become a clinical psychologist because there is a very big difference. Thank you. Now, shall I go to sir, sir? Can, can, uh, can I answer him, sir, first? Yeah. Then there is another myth we will like have to shatter, sir. Very good question. A clinical psychologist will be a person who will be able to assist you. A clinical psychologist will be a person who will be basically dealing with abnormalities. When a person is ill, there is abnormal issues. Teacher counselor, I mean now, not after this program, a trained professor, we will call a teacher counselor. They will not do any clinical work. They will, huh, obviously, they may sometime sound the dead red alert. There is something wrong. They will be the first aid provider, providers. Because children will not go to a psychologist or anybody just like that. They trust you, they will come to you. So, this, our expectation is never to have a, what, what you call, professor of engineering or professor of this thing to become a clinical person. And they should not also. But they should be in a position to see, are there anything wrong? Or simply by listening, can the child be taken out of a particular situation? That is fine. Excellent question, sir. What about you? What is your question? Okay, one by one, I'll try. First question is mentioned that nowadays, the ideas are the where to say where where they want, when they want. That is what they are now talking about. Okay. I mean, in your context, you cannot uh, generalize this thing. No, no, I am not. Because till now, most of the all the English system. Defined guidelines are there. Huh? Defined guidelines are there. Absolutely, sir. And the students are adhering also. Oh, yeah? yeah right? Huh, only thing that this thing was also uh, available 50 years back. Only thing that they are and when. Very right? Very but the material they have that time on the uh, form of books and uh, magazines and that, uh, that, that they have to carry with them. Now they did the advancement of technology. They have that the access on the, the e-books and many things from there on the, uh, the laptop or the yeah. mobile. Yeah. Mobile. Right. But mobile. Mobile, yeah. This is the first question. I didn't get the question. I am saying that it is not uh, uh, that the uh, classroom, that the students think that the way they want to, uh, went to want to study, right? Where to want to uh -huh. Where? Uh -huh. Where? Uh -huh. This concept I think is not that the uh, 
and the whole country is not following this. See, I am not yet oh, saying it is following. The ah, the, see, what has happened to the system of education and the thought process of children? That is what I am saying. If the children are coming to the classroom also with the mobile, is it allowed in your university? No. But, but no. ASMT, UGC, you know, offices to bring laptops. Yeah, see, now what is here? See, I, I hope you know. Even what, uh, I don't know every girl what is happening. But what I'm trying to say is, now children, I hope you know the concept of Google Glass and all. Yeah. Google Glass, you, you understand? So, the professor is saying something. Now you are asking me, students are uh, referring then and there, is this foolish fellow saying the right thing or not? That kind of system is also coming. So what I am talking about is, it is students are not going to change. Are, are, are you getting what I am trying to say? Students will not change, the times will not change. It is for us to change. That's all what I am trying to say. And, and I am not also saying we will stop the teaching. All these things will happen, sir. What will happen? The of the student already, changed. Ah, already changed. And and it is very difficult. Yeah, one more, one more. Yeah. Change is concerned, right? Yeah, Ch change is said. Change is change whether the teaching or the personal students or thinking process and everything. Right? Take for example, because as a teacher, we have to uh, update ourselves. No side discussions. We will listen to one person. Yeah. Update ourselves. We also think of what is the latest in the field, uh -huh. right? What is happening in society, uh -huh. what is happening in the adolescent level, what is happening at the, at the international level. Absolutely. What are the, what are the needs and requirements of the, my students uh -huh. class? Uh -huh. Example, for example, see, uh, take the mother, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Mother is, as you can say, not highly educated, only that is the fifth or sixth class, uh -huh. taking care of the whole family, uh -huh. right? Has four to five kids, right? Now, she has trained uh, all the uh, children that not to go for the outside for eating, this and that. Uh, home that will be made food is better, I am preparing food for you. Okay, okay. But with the change of the time, huh. the kids have said, no, we go for the pizza, hmm. we go for chowmin, this and huh. that. Huh. Right? Huh. Now, the mother, huh. Chini herself, huh. so they have to pizzas. pizzas and that for this. Huh. Very right. right. It looks like that. Yeah. The same for the teachers also here. Absolutely, absolutely. You, you will have it. I mean, that, that, see, yeah. the whole talk now we are having is what all changes that the teacher will have to bring in. I am not at all arguing. I am saying the system is changing as you said where and... It's not now, it's always. So we will talk always. Yeah. When will this happen again? Ah, that is much. So every time we will go on discussing, debating and deliberating what all new things now we will have to go on. So one topic what we are introducing is the teachers to have counseling skills. That's this all coming down to, yeah, you want to say something more, yeah. So actually the thing is we are ready to counsel. Ah. The student coming to us. He will prepare one observation I will take. If you look back 10 years, he will? If you look back 10 years, yeah. the student interaction was much better. Uh. If the student did something, he used to come to the teacher. Mm. Unfortunately, in the last 4 or 5 years, yeah. the student teacher interaction has drastically come down. Uh. So you, we are ready to counsel. Yeah. But is he prepared to come to the I'll come. I'll come. Uh, can you park this question for some time? One speaker said, how to bring the children to the counselling table, how to make them feel like going to you, is the beginning question. That we will park and come. So shall we go ahead with it? One more question. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy. Ma'am, this is a very interactive class. You are fine with it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the last was mentoring and counselling. Uh, mentor, uh, mentor to counsellor. But a teacher would no, not actually, no, one, 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 one. You, you got it slightly wrong. The end is here as on, as on date. We have reached 
the university professors or even school teachers or everybody to be now a teacher mentor mentor so for doing mentoring you will require counseling skills understanding at least what is not that's what we said yeah so so mentoring huh? and counseling are two different things are they are related to same ah. people use it uh, anyone can mentor even but the counseling requirement absolutely excellent and very right yes mentoring process 